What is going on, everybody? Thank you for being here today. Alfie wants to thank you as well as he's sitting here biting my fingers. But we have a very special video for you today. Probably my top requested video. And we are gonna talk about how much money I spent on this home gym. And I'm gonna give you a teaser. It is outrageous. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna offer you guys a giveaway. Don't cheat, but the top, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a giveaway for two people, whoever gets the closest guessing the total amount that I spent on this home gym. It's the honor system here, guys. Don't cheat, pause the video, leave your guess down below and I'll send you your NEP science supplement that you want. Now, one caveat here is a lot of times on the internet when you're buying home gym equipment, people like to criticize you because you did not do things the cheapest way. If you bought name brands like Rogue and people, the keyboard warriors will type like, you know, you could have done this and this to save all this money. My primary objective was not to make the cheapest gym. It was to make the gym that I wanted. So did I spend a lot of money doing that? Absolutely. Do I regret it? Absolutely not. Actually, cameraman just gave me a very good idea because it becomes a nightmare trying to track you guys down to give you the prize if you are the giveaway winner. Let me know your guess on my latest Instagram picture. That way I can just DM you if you're the winner. Makes things much easier. We're gonna start over here with this beast of a rack. This Rogue RM6 costs right around $2,200. I'm actually gonna use my notes here and that is including shipping. So you got the rack and then that includes the safety spotter straps, uh, the name plate, the, pe the, the pegs, all of that good stuff as well as the plate storage back there. So that was one of the biggest expenses, but for me, it just made the most amount of sense. I did not want to bolt a rack down. This thing is so hefty that you never have to worry about it moving. Obviously, Rogue isn't a phenomenal brand. You're not gonna have any quality issues. So the RM6, something I had my heart set on for a very long time, and so far, I've been loving it. Actually, the rack was 20. $321.97 for anyone that likes to be technical. But one of the reasons I wanted to go rogue is because I really like their ecosystem in terms of what you can add to the rack. Since this is the primary piece to my entire home gym, which is a 14 by 20 foot garage, I wanted it to be very versatile. So here are some of the attachments that I picked up. We have the Matador with the Matador hanger. So the Matador cost me 145 bucks. The hanger cost me 50, but at least it's out of the way and I don't have to worry about it. Another attachment, if we come back up, hey buddy, I know you wanna be the star of the show, but I gotta show the people the Landmine 2.0. And this is the most activity that it's gotten so far because I haven't been able to use it because my beater bar still has not arrived and I do not wanna put my Rogue Ohio Power Bar on there. So this was $125, but I feel like that's a very good investment for all the things that you can do with the Landmine. And as I mentioned, I picked up the Rogue Ohio Power Bar bar. I love this bar right now. It's the only bar that I have. And this guy cost me $321 with shipping. Would pay it all over again if I had to. Thing is an absolute beast. Now, along with the landmine, I picked up this, this handle right here from Rogue, which cost me $62.50. Again, haven't even got to use it yet, but I figured since I was already paying shipping for some of this stuff, might as well go ahead and get that ordered. And those are the, some of the cheaper attachments that I have. Uh, if you guys watched last Wednesday's video, you probably saw the most expensive attachment I got. And that is these lever arms with the trolley system. This cost me about $1,145 just for this attachment. If you wanna see my in-depth review on those, watch last Wednesday's video, Cliff Notes. I'm a big fan, even though they are more on the pricey side. And if you guys are wondering, the shirt that I'm wearing is from Cut. I love the way that these fit. Awesome design, love the color on it as well. Uh, but we're gonna move over here to the plates. So the good part about being weak is that you don't need to buy a whole lot of plates. So really, initially all that I bought was what you're seeing right here. They're still sold out of the fives, but these are the shooter plates, which I highly, highly recommend, if for no other reason, just because they're so easy to grab. Obviously, they're very aesthetic, but all in all, 
I wouldn't have chose any other plates besides the deep dish plates, which I love and maybe we'll buy some eventually, but I was able to pick them all up for $889. So not too bad of a deal. Again, when you're not too strong, you don't need too many. So that makes up everything I ordered from Rogue in terms of the power rack. The only other items I did pick up from Rogue are over here, which you're gonna see the Echo Bike. I still need to do a review for you guys, uh, but this thing is awesome. Unfortunately, they're out of wind guards, so it's extremely cold when I come out here to use this at four o'clock in the morning. But this, with shipping, cost me $775. I actually think it's a, it's a pretty good deal for what it is. And then back here, you'll see I do have some Rogue bands, which in total probably ran me about a hundred bucks. And the item that hasn't come in yet is the knurled pull-up bar, which was about $115, I believe. Uh, that one is fine. It's just a little bit slick, so the knurl on there will help out a lot. And it says Rogue on the front. Again, it's just more aesthetics, but that will be the last item from Rogue that I have coming as of now. All right, we are gonna move over to what I got from Rep Fitness. Both brands have been great for me. I have not too many complaints other than the complaints you've already heard on this channel. But this is the AB5000. This is a zero gap adjustable bench, an absolute tank. And the reason I went with this is because it is an amazing price. With shipping, it was $566. And I just wanted one bench that I could use for pretty much any application. This thing works out for me perfectly. Next up from Rep Fitness are going to be the dumbbells. I ended up picking up the rubber hex dumbbells awesome neural on these things really have enjoyed these a lot for an amazing price point so fives through 75s were only $1,682.30 I did sell some of them off some of the five pound increments that I didn't feel like I needed uh, but that was the total price when I bought the set now I also bought these dumbbell racks from rep fitness I ended up purchasing two of them so for both of them they cost me 382 bucks just a phenomenal value and that's why I did purchase some of this stuff from rep you're gonna get a lot more bang for your buck maybe not as good of quality as Rogue, but on something like a dumbbell rack and a bench I didn't think that they were I could justify the little bit of increased quality that I might notice uh, with the very high increase of cost now I do have some items from rep that have not delivered yet that I'm, I don't think I'm gonna be able to get them until January actually but for from what's still missing from my order are some heavier dumbbells the 80s, 90s, and 100s, a chrome easy bar curl. I got some of their plates, which are very similar to the shooter plates that I got from Rogue, so I wanna be able to compare and contrast. Again, better price point, but I can't really speak for how the quality is on those. And then I did get a beater bar from them. It was like $100, so I wanna be able to have that for Megan, I wanna be able to have that for the landmine, and just be able to kind of do some comparisons for all of you guys to see, hey, what's the difference between a $100, bar, $100 barbell versus a $300 barbell, so those videos will be coming very soon. And the total on all of that together is gonna to be $1,266. Now this mirror right here is the latest edition. This is just so I can come in here and oh, flex for the gram. If you guys aren't already following me, go check out my biceps for sure. This is from a company called The Mirror Company. Again, this is not the most cheap option that you can get, but $455, it's six feet by eight feet. They come in and that's including installation. They were in and out in 15 minutes, although they did come at 9.30 at night, which I found kind of weird. Um, but we finally have a mirror in here and I really feel like it adds a lot to the gym. At first, I wasn't really sold on actually needing one, but I'm glad we added it. I think it makes it look much more like a gym now. These floors. I get a lot of questions if you wanna come down and take a look at these cameraman. These are just horse stall mats. I know they have this weird pattern to them. I didn't really want that, but that's all my local tractor supply had. So I got 10 horse stall mats for the gym floors. Ran me about 500 bucks. Again, it's pretty economical flooring compared to uh, you know commercial gym flooring. And then from the uh, recommendation of Brandon Campbell, I just used Gorilla Tape to tape off the seams. And I did not do this in the first home gym that I had, and this makes a world of difference. So if you do have a home gym and you're using stall mats, I cannot recommend this enough to help keep them together and also help keep some of that debris out of here. And just a few miscellaneous items here that I added. So I got this barbell holder from Amazon. I think I'm actually just gonna keep it freestanding and not even uh, bolt this into the ground. I only have a curl bar and one extra bar over here. This was 
maybe around like 50 or 60 bucks, um, not, nothing too crazy. And then if we wanna turn around over here, again, just kind of getting into the weeds, uh, this hook for, for the bands was about 10 bucks, um, give or take. I mean, you can buy a whole set of them for 30. I felt like I gave Rogue enough money, I didn't need to give them another $50 for one of their hooks. So you can do things that kind of cut some costs in areas that aren't that important to you. And the last piece of gym equipment that you're not seeing because we keep it upstairs is the Peloton bike, which Megan and I both love. We got a steal on Facebook Marketplace. We picked that up for $1,300, barely used, came with all the accessories, cycling shoes, I mean, anything you can imagine. So for 1,300 bucks, saved me about $1,000, which was awesome and we both used that every single week. I know we really sped through that, but Megan has me in a time crunch because we have a delivery coming from Restoration Hardware and for some reason, she thinks that that is cooler than my gym equipment. I truly don't understand it. If you want me to do a really expensive haul for you, we'll go through all of the Restoration Hardware furniture and that will double what we've got on the gym. But I didn't wanna spend a whole lot of time on it because I've got videos on all this stuff already. So check out my home gym playlist if you guys are interested in a few more details. But let's do a drum roll here for the total for all of the equipment so far. Don't cheat, guys. Don't cheat. If I, if I find out one of you guys cheated to win some protein powder, I know it's great, but I hope you guys are honest. $12,336.77. Hurrah! I know, it's crazy. $12,000. But that's not it, and that is why I wanted to pick two winners because I felt like it wouldn't be fair if I only picked one based off of this new information. So $12,000 is going to be all of the equipment, but when I went in and I added everything else that went into it, such as this beautiful wall right behind us that ran us about $1,250, not to mention the garage that we're standing in, I had to pay the builder $10,000 to build. Now, we only have one car, so we could have gotten away with the two garage spaces over there perfectly fine. Uh, would I have done a three car garage either way? Maybe, but it still doesn't negate the fact it cost me 10 grand. Putting two blinds right here, a few hundred bucks, nothing too crazy there. And then I also did get this garage insulated. Um, so they insulated the, the first two bays. They were not gonna insulate this third bay. So I called up the guy as he was doing it. I asked if I could throw him some extra money to just do this third bay. He said yes, 600 bucks later, and they insulated this and the ceiling. Did they rip me off because they're already gonna be out here? Maybe, I don't really know the answer. So if you include all of that, we are gonna change the grand total to $24,000. And 77 cents. So $25,000, including everything. Whew, that hurts. So this is pretty much more than anything that I've ever owned. But you know what? This is what I love. I wouldn't wanna spend my money any other way. And for me, it's a very, very good investment. What would you rather buy? Gym equipment or restoration hardware furniture? I think we know the answer to that one sitting out here. It is great service. I mean, they come, the gym equipment doesn't do that. They don't bring it in and put it together for you. Hmm. Please let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. Am I an idiot? Did I spend way too much money? Or maybe I didn't spend enough money in your opinion and I should have gotten different types of equipment. Let me know what your, your setups look like in the comments. Always like to kind of go back and forth and see what I can improve on, see what other things I can waste my money on. But as I said in the beginning, I don't mind spending a lot of money on gym equipment because that's what's super important to me. Something like a watch, I'm not gonna wanna spend a whole lot of money on, but thankfully I've got amazing sponsors like Movement who allow me to make videos like this for all of you and offer products to you that I love at an amazing discount. So instead of spending five or $600 on a watch, I only have to spend right around $100 in a fancy watch just like this that looks amazing and no one would even know the difference. In addition to the watch, you can get some blue light blocking glasses. All of us are sitting at our screens right now, spending way too much time I'm staring at the screen so it adds a little bit of protection there and plus I just look pretty cool and the best part about it is you guys can save an additional 15% when you go to movement.com slash Travis and get free shipping and free returns. We know it's the holiday season. They have very sleek black packaging that looks phenomenal so you don't have to 
to break the bank there, save some money on your watches and your gifts, and then put it back into your home gym. So it's really a win-win. So that's really gonna be the end of the video. I'm excited to see all of the guesses down in the comments and all the people who tell me I'm an idiot because I already know that information, guys. It's all good. But we're here, uh, we're gonna wait for uh, rest restoration hardware to uh, get delivered and maybe we'll show you guys the bar stools. Uh, once they're finally in here, but thank you all so much for taking the time out of your day to watch. You could have been doing anything anything in the entire world and you chose to spend a few minutes with me. That is pretty awesome. Please give the video a like, subscribe to the channel if you are new, and I look forward to talking to y'all next time. Just so you know, you could have bought the entire squat rack for these four chairs right here. The entire squat rack. I don't know, some people are different. <laughs>